Hello everybody, it's Home Rules, and today what I'm going to do is my WWE Monday Night Raw reaction, and yes, I'm getting to WWE 2K17, and no, I don't have PS4 yet, and when will I get one? November or Christmas, but I'm getting the game today, so, a game without the system, a system without a game, um, okay. Um, so, it was when I Raw of the... October 10, 2016, it's in Oakland, California. The announcers are Mike Cole, Brian Saxon, Corey Graves. First, Sasha Banks comes out, the two time women's champion. She comes out, and people are chanting, You deserve it. And then, uh, then I'm on top of the world, that in the top row on WTV, I watch my hero, Eddie Guerrero, lie, cheat, and steal. That's how I wanted to be. Happy birthday, Eddie. I stole the show last week, like Tristan Stratus and Lita did. Um, and then here comes uh, Charlotte, but then she gets interrupted by Rusev and Lana, and then Rusev goes like, "No one cares about your you having a cell match." Uh, Sasha Banks uh, calls out the wants to have a cell match, first ever time it will happen. Um, Rusev is talking, blah blah blah, and then set, disrespects him, and then they. Then she gets slapped. Uh, Lana does a double, double drop kick to Rusev, and the Roman Reigns comes out and stands up to Rusev. So we're gonna have a mixed tag team match. Play ya, holla. Um, sorry, my ear got itchy. Uh, second, the new day rocks. 415 days actually today. 414 days yesterday. The new day. Hey, what's cooking, Biggie out there? That booty of throwing out of his singlet. That's nasty, Biggie. Nasty sweaty tits. Um, then Cesaro and Sheamus come out, and Cesaro versus Kofi Kingston, and uh, Sheamus is tweeting on Facebook Live, not hashtag not watching Cesaro wrestling. Okay, Facebook Live. Um, and then Sheamus gets distracted and pushes their woods down, and then Biggie moves him over, and Kofi Kingston rolls up Cesaro with the, like he got distracted, and then has a small banner one, two, three, and Kofi Kingston. The new day wins. Third, uh, on the coach, we're going to tell you about Goldberg that that uh, on Sports Center. Um, Brock Lesnar, I, I beat him once. Who says you can't beat him again? That Goldberg is laying out the challenge, basically. Fourth, Bailey versus some kind of jobber, Camel Fields. And Bailey ends away the belly to belly to belly. And then Donna Brooks attacks her. So we're going to have Donna Brooks and uh, Bailey leading up to uh, the Hell in a Cell pay per view, I guess. Um, why not? Fifth, uh, Chris Jericho has, uh, is gloating in the archers like, you want to pay days? Like, I didn't say I didn't want it. <laughs> oh, my bad. Six, um, Tony Nese and Drew Gullit versus Lentz, Dorel, and Sinkar is joining the Cruiserweights now. And Lentz, Dorel, and Sinkar win. That was a pretty epic match, a a um, shooting star press. This was a cop today when they did that shooting star press from Andrew. Shooting star press from Liz Dory, and they end up winning the match, and that's pretty cool. Um, so good for Sin Cara for getting up and winning, I guess. Seventh, Mick Foley is dressed up. He's getting ready to dress Hell in a Cell, and Stephanie McMahon says, "Can I join you?" And she's going to. And then eighth, uh, Mick Foley and and Stephanie McMahon are out there talking about three Hell in a Cell reviews. Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens in a Hell in a Cell for the WWE Universal Championship. Saucer Banks for the first time ever versus, versus Charlotte for the WWE Women's Championship. Um, uh, um, and Roman Reigns versus Rusev inside a Hell in a Cell paper. Uh, Hell in a Cell. Yeah. There you go. And then Chris Jericho comes out and so just Kevin Owens like, you just made the list. You just made the list again. Uh, don't put me on the list. I think Chris Jericho gets that versus Roman Reigns tonight, and if he wins, he gets to be put in the Hell in a Cell. It'll be a triple threat Hell in a Cell match. Um, Nine Charlie interviews, uh, so, uh, versus, I mean, interviews Seth Rollins. He says that I'm going to crush down the machine, and I'm the man is here to beat, beat Kevin Owens to become the WWE Universal Champion. Yep. Welcome to Monday Raw, Charlie. Yep. Um, basically saying he's going to destroy the machine. Which is pretty cool because he was in the machine. He knows how to destroy it from the inside out. 
10th, Bodell's Curtis Axe are supposed to verse the Abbott and the more big cast. But no, uh -uh. Luke Allen Carlos would come out and beat the crap out of the more big cast, and then Magic Killer then throws the Woods out there, and then, yep, you now Bogalis and Curtis Axe won a match, and they're versing Sami Zayn and Neville. Sami Zayn and Neville end up winning. Um, Oleo kick, and then Red Arrow, and then Bodell's looks upset, and Curtis Axe. So we're going to have Curtis Axe on Bodell's feud, I guess, about next week or something. Um, okay. <laughs> Stay out of my way, Lana. You don't mean the Queen's way. Oh, yeah, she thought a lot of lines like that. He's my man forever. I'm not very just type, but you will get it to her or something, whatever it is. Um, 14th, our truth versus what well, with. Gold Dust versus versus Tyus O'Neill, I think it said. And uh, that our truth ends up winning the match, and uh, there you go. The Golden Truth for here to tell you something or what. Fifteenth, the um, T J Perkins. It's talking about the Brian Kendrick, like you can be the the Brian Kendrick again, not this one that I know. And look, you're afraid. You you know, cheap shot me like, and then he tries to punch him, and then TJ Perkins you're like, I knew it, you ain't the same. Sixteenth, Kevin Owens. Um, Kevin Owens like. Uh, oh wait, no. It's Braun Strowman versus Kevin Staff. And Kevin and Staff or something. And they're, they're called the Splash Brothers versus Braun Strowman. They're going to become the Splat Brothers. The two-minute squash match. He did, a, he did a double drop kick. Braun Strowman did. Oh, my God. How can a guy his weight do that? Um, and he's like, send me real opponents. Uh, if you send like 100 men of these, they're just going to be bodies. Send me real competition, McFoley. That's it. Um, you want to mess with Braun Strowman? Do you want to be the next one of these squish? No, 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 no. Oh, hey. oh no, you do not. No. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Roman Reigns talking to Sasha Banks and says that I can handle this. And Roman Reigns is like looking at Sasha Banks like. Well, I don't blame him. <laughs> that was a magnet booty. Short for the new before, so go look it up, I guess. 18th, um, Cesaro and Rusev versus Sasha Banks and Roman Reigns. Challengers versus Champions with uh, Lana out there with Rusev. Um, and Spirit of Rusev, and then. What was Rusev going to do? I don't know. Um, and then Sasha Banks makes Charlotte tap out with the bank statement, and there you go. They end up winning the match. Ooh, ah, the champions win. Yeah, they do our mark. Um, what a mark. And I think Tom Phillips interviews Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho. It doesn't matter that who's ever the Universal Champion. We're both the WWE Universal Champion. You just, you know, you know what happened, Tom? You know what happened there? You just made the list. Quiet. Okay. Funny if uh, Paul Heyman is talking about Goldberg chanting Goldberg chants the spear. It, like everything. Like you've been the one blemish of Brock Lesnar's career. You still has one up on Brock Lesnar. You want to fight? You are going to be victimized and you're next. Here we go. 21st Emily coming soon promo, which is basically, I think, Emma. Um, what do you think of the, uh, Dee Brackens on commentary, Max, Heath, oh, wait, no, TJ Perkins versus Andrew Verga, and, uh, TJ Perkins ends up winning with that crowbar, whatever that is, that's called, um, 23rd, do, 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 Chris Jericho is talking to Stephen Mann, says that, I was gonna put you on the list, but no, I removed it, and I don't even know how to spell something. Anyways, we've been friends for so long. 
It's like, what's that? Friendship is respected. Um, Hispanic Month. Um, Tito Santana. 24th, Chris Jericho versus Seth Rollins. In 51, and then, um, Seth Rollins is winning, even though Kevin Owens comes out there and distracts him. Seth Rollins ends up winning the match, I think. And, yep, ends up winning the match. I think he roll. yeah, he reverses the, the walls of Jericho and rolls him up. 11-12, and then 11-10, and 11-12 is when it ends. But before it ends, in between that match, it said, Goldberg. Like, he tweeted out that next week on WWE Monday Night Raw, he will deliver. He will be at Monday Night Raw. He will be there next week. He has to train. He hopefully will come out as soon. Probably, he probably will come out in a suit. He probably will come out in his, like, wrestling attire. But Goldberg will be there next week. He's uh, he's going to be 50, but hopefully he can beat Brock Lesnar. And hopefully he can establish himself as the, the um, like, his record is like the only time he's lost is when people interfered. He's never lost clean. So that's pretty cool. Goldberg. But Chris Schaefer knocked him out backstage before. But Goldberg coming back next week. Just get ready. I can't wait for next week. It's going to be very exciting. And please like this. It's probably going to be at the end of the show. Please like this video. Leave a comment. What do you think of Goldberg returning next week? And w 2 7 And all WWE news and everything. And subscribe for more. Hogan rules out. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.